Food charities are keen to make it clear that the coronavirus pandemic has worsened existing problems of food inequality rather than created new ones. Even before the crisis hit, many, too many people in Scotland were experiencing food insecurity and were unable to access the food that they needed when and where they needed it. And this is primarily due to people not having enough money to be able to access food. And the crisis has just exacerbated that for many people who were already experiencing food insecurity, but now we see many new people entering into this category. And of course, some of those people aren't able to leave their homes. And so it's about geographic access and ensuring that people have access to online deliveries and those kinds of things. But for people in the community food sector who've been working for a long time to sort of plug the gaps in the emergency food sector and in the community food sector and um, plugging the gaps of state support for people it's really changed you know the crisis has obviously completely changed the way that they work and um, and what we've seen is some significant commitments on the part of government to for example increase uh, funding to the Scottish Welfare Fund, which is a really important crisis grant and uh, is available to people who have fallen into an emergency situation. So we really welcome that. Um, but there's also a sort of, we're still seeing the emerging uh, responses about how we can ensure that everybody has access to the food that they need at this time. Enshrining this in law was a priority, but how has this been affected by the lockdown? The Good Food Nation bill was unfortunately paused um, or delayed as a result of the, um, the pressing needs of Parliament at the moment. Um, so although that's understandable because there's lots going on right now, we're fully committed to ensuring that that stays on, on the table once things go back to normal. And um, the sort of central purpose of that for us was about um, bringing the right to food into Scots law, which would be a kind of organizing principle for how we do um, food uh, right across the food system. There are also other parts of that bill around having a food commission and having a national food plan that we could see maybe making its way into other policy levers or other potential legislative levers, even as the Good Food Nation bill gets delayed for now. Um, but we remain committed to the right to food. We think, um, you know, it obviously would have helped to have had that in place. There are other countries that have had a a different type of response um, to, the, uh, to this crisis. And part of that is because they've already got in place a bit more resilience within their food system, um, but also a kind of recognition that with the recognition of the right to food being more part of our daily lives, um, it would have perhaps meant that some slightly different decisions were made in, in the past couple of weeks. Our, our main priority is to ensure that everybody has the financial means to be able to support themselves through this through this crisis um, and that nobody should need to be relying on emergency food aid um, or emergency food provision and certainly not through the sort of char charitable food sector for that. Um, however, we are working alongside our, our partners in the community food sector who have a whole um, wealth of experience in putting dignity at the forefront of their responses to food insecurity. And we know that the community sector is going to, the community food sector is going to be a really important part of emerging back out of this because of all of the additional benefits that they have around reducing isolation and loneliness and bringing people together in community. And we're just, um, we're really looking forward to them being able to return to that primary role that they play. Nourish and other advocates of food equality, both locally and nationally, see dignity as paramount for people needing charitable food contributions, pandemic or not. Ian McNally, That's TV.